Worry about, I promise. <laughs> Just come inside for a look. It's lovely, really. Oh, no thanks. But you'll be fine. Everybody's really nice. Everybody? I'm nice. And I'm very nice. We're, We're all, all very, very nice. nice. <laughs> Will you get inside? Not you. Um, yes, you, you too. Look, you, you can't live in the garden. You have to come inside. Let him settle in. We'll show him round later. You're just going to let him stay outside? Have you any idea how hard it was to catch him? Well, you caught him. And if he runs away again, he knows he'll get caught. So let's trust the man and give him some space, eh? It's actually not that bad here. Why don't you get used to Elaine the pain? Did you really live in the woods all by yourself? With the wild wolves and the snakes. <laughs> I'm Crass. What's your name? Wolf Boy. I only asked the name. I'm not trying to steal your soul. Wolfie it is then. Hi, Wolfie. I'm Lol and this is Bouncer. What's a big guy like you doing in a children's home? Well, I'm leaving soon. I'm moving into a halfway house. What, are you going to half look after yourself? That social worker lady going to bring you half your dinner every day? <laughs> yeah, and wash half his clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, i got things to do. You coming, Lol? Lol? Uh, go ahead. It's true. Elaine and the police caught him in the woods with a big net. They had to use a poison dart to put him to sleep. He was brought up by wild animals. Probably why he won't sleep in the house. <laughs> Wolfie's teaching me how to survive in the wild. Survival lesson number one. Never turn down free food, man. What's that? Nettle soup. You could practically live on it, couldn't you? You'd lived on nettles. There's plenty of edible things in the woods. Right. Roots and berries and stuff. Fish. Rabbits. Rabbits! Oh, how'd you catch them? Show you later. Oh, look. Starters. Oh. <laughs> I need rabbits. Thing is, is we can't really let you sleep out here on your own. Slept in most places? Perhaps. But unfortunately, the powers that be get funny about us leaving children unsupervised overnight. Then don't tell them. It's not that simple. Look, I'm not coming in. Well, then one of us will have to sleep out here with you. Oh, oh, my back. Trusting me was all an act, wasn't it? Oh, Sid. You're spooking him. Let me see part of you with him tonight. <sighs> I promise I'll wake you if he as much as takes a step. Oh. Are we still on for tomorrow? What? We're going to see the halfway house. We talked about it, remember? What's the big hurry? Well, I've got to see it sometime, haven't I? We can catch the bus after. You're going to get half a fare. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe you could get Elaine the Pain to drive you halfway there. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Hilarious. Come on, 
swim into the net. Fish, I'll save you. I'll stop the mad boy wolf eating you. Come on, swim into the nice little net. It'll be dark soon. Oh, oh! Very funny. <laughs> That big guy your mate? Yeah, I'm my brother. <laughs> You're close then? Very. So how are you gonna manage any moves? What's it like? Living out here by yourself, just you and nature. Ah, oh, it's very special. I do rain dances and the god of hunting guides my spear. Stupid question. It's hard. You get tired. Why don't you come inside? I don't like being locked in. The dumping ground kids know where the window and door keys are kept. So if we need to get out, we can. It's a safety rule. Yeah. And if you ever need a mate, there's no one better than a dumping ground kid. I'll keep that in mind. Night, Wolfie. By the way, what is your real name? Lights out soon, eh, mate? Yeah. It's a big day tomorrow, seeing what might be a new place. It's no big deal. It's time I moved on. Yeah, well, when you're ready, there's no rush. I'm not a kid, you know. I can take care of myself. Yeah, I know it. Buffy! Buffy just escaped. She's probably in the garden. We need to find her before somebody else does. Come on. If this is a real trap, you need some kind of spring action so the door comes down quick enough. Otherwise, they get away. You ready? What? The halfway house? Oh, can't we go another day? I said I go today. Won't be a dick. I reckon I can convince him to come inside. With a bit of time. Can you go by yourself? Yeah, sure. No problem. So we're gonna have rabbit then. Yeah. <laughs> this is your room. Take as long as you like. I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Do you know what our fishing rod is, bro? Oh, Wolfie and me are going fishing later. He can catch fish with a bow and arrow. He's gonna teach me, but just in case. <laughs> what are you doing? Might as well make a start. What are you talking about? I'm on to the halfway house. Straight away? Well, as soon as I can. No point in hanging about. But, well, it's no biggie, is it? We've been talking about it for ages. Yeah, yeah, right. Kids are a scream. Ah! Yeah, so are you. What? You mad at me for something? Don't act innocent. Look, if I freaked out the little kids too much, I'll put it right. I was only kidding. Yeah, you've got everyone full with your stupid jokes, haven't you? 
What's that supposed to mean? You think you can suck Lola when I'm gone? Well, we've always stuck by each other and we always will. We're family, right? But you wouldn't know about such things, would you? No, I wouldn't. Well, you can't have my brother. So keep your hunting and your fishing and your wild man of the woods rubbish and leave him alone. Maybe you hadn't noticed, but I didn't invite him. He sucked up to me. Yeah, right. I don't need anybody. Then what are you doing here, then? You're right. What am I doing here? Uh, Wolfie, wait. Wolfie's not going to eat Buffy. Eat Buffy? He's a wild animal. He's a boy that's had a terrible time. Now, stop being silly. Buffy's probably asleep somewhere and she'll come back when she's hungry, like the last time she got out. But the last time she but... got... I promise you, no one's going to eat her. Wolfie's taken off. What? Why? Oh, it was all my fault. Oh, tell me later. We'll have to find him before the adults find out. You know, they'll just find you and put you somewhere you can't run away from. Leave me alone. No chance. What, you need a babysitter now your big brother's leaving? Don't be stupid. What's he talking about? I... I just thought it'd be hard. Without you. He couldn't even come and see the place you're moving to. I thought you didn't care. Well, you know what I thought did? Planted a feather and thought a hen would grow. Planted a brick and thought a house would grow. Give me a fat puke, Jane. It's a perfect little family reunion. Oh, listen, I didn't mean what I said. Come back with us. The dumping ground's full of good mates. Please? I got better things to do. Wait. I can't sleep in the bed. <sighs> See the light you sleep on the floor. Come on, Wolfie. Before they freak out back there. My name's Sean. You know. I might wait a few weeks before I move. OK. This living rough. Buffy. It's not half bad, is it? Chicken, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> you do know that every Tracy Beaker episode starts with a bang! Come on, Leo. There won't be any wild beasts, I promise. Hey, Beaker, want to come camping? There'll be enough room if we strap a lane to the roof. Wolfie. Cam is taking me on a holiday of a lifetime. I can't wait. For when you come back. <laughs> Can't wait. I hope you pack the sunscreen. I burn like a tomato blanket. Please, Cam, tell us where we're going. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes now. Tracy! Surprise! You are not serious. What? Camping with Elaine the Paint! But I thought you'd love to go on holiday with all your friends. You're always going on about how much you miss them all. 
I've spent my whole life trying to get away from the dumping ground. This is my worst nightmare ever! Sorry we're such a pain for you, Beaker. No, wait. Uh, worst nightmare? What sort of freaks does she think we are? Come on, Rio. There's nothing to be afraid of. You'll be here with me. L look, there's some lovely, lovely food. Come on, Rio. That's uh, over there. Yeah, don't want to ruin anyone's holiday, do we? They'll get over it. Look, I realise camping isn't exactly what you're expecting, but we can still have a good time. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's boring. B-O-R-I-N-G. Boring. Boring? This is going to be the most action-packed holiday of your life. We're going to have firewood collecting, marshmallow toasting, and best of all, campfire singing. But first, I'm taking you all on a lovely nature walk. You are, Rio. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, out. Here you go. There's no wild beasts. You're going to have a lovely time. <laughs> Rio! <laughs> we got in the bag, then. Got to be prepared on a trek. Tracy! Tracy, come on! We're all waiting for you! Blebbing in her tent. <laughs> Tracy! Tracy! No arguments, Tracy. Everyone's going, including you. Oh. All right, keep your wig on. You best bring a jumper, it might get chilly later. <laughs> Look, everyone! Wild peacocks! They're pheasant to me. <laughs> right, well, uh, take it off then. Um, page 19, I think. It won't bite you, Rio. Watch out! Wild peacock! Ah! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> yes. Roxy, quick! Collect them all up! Oh. Uh, they're, they're getting all muddy. Will somebody help me? Look, look, look. Oh. Almost. Oh, not again. One more go. I don't see why not. Okay, slot pole A into inner grommet F. Carefully tightening eccentric flange D while supporting side pole C with the semi crossbar J. What does it mean? I don't know what it means. We didn't have Namby Pamby tents when I went camping. That's right, we built bivvies with our bare hands out of dead branches and bracken. Yeah. 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 And that must be a sycamore, or it could be a, um... <laughs> 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 Sorry. Where's the rest gone? I don't know. Have they got the right idea? Let's go. Oh. Oh. Perhaps we should go back now. Rubbish. We haven't ticked off all the boxes yet. Come on, everyone. Elaine, stop. We're missing half the kids. Oh, my goodness. Um, but, look, they can't have gone far. I'll round them up. Unless the wood troll gets them first. Wood troll? Right, um, no need to panic. Everybody stay close to me. We don't want to lose anyone else. Stay close. Come on. And this is a fine specimen of... of... What's it called again? Uh, a tree, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> What is that?
Oh. Do you hear that spooky noise? Yeah. But I wasn't scared because, you know, nothing scares me. Except coming on holiday with us a lot. <laughs> I don't like it! Where's it coming from? Together, everyone. Where's Layla and Rio? One minute they were here, the next they completely disappeared. Don't you know about these woods, Lane? It was in all the papers. People go in, but they don't come out. Are you okay? No. Maybe we're letting our imaginations take over. Maybe it was just an old woman out for a walk. In a long hooded cloak. Yeah, well, maybe she feels the cold. This is just like that film where those tourists get lost in the creepy forest. The one where they get home safely? <laughs> no, the one where they get eaten by zombies. Well, it's going to take more than zombies to scare me. It's not going to eat my mates either. So, we're still your mates then? Of course. I mean, if you want to. OK, let's go. Which way? We're lost. No, we're not. The Beaker Satellite Navigation System says... that way. Uh-oh. Quick! It's witchcraft! Run! She didn't even see us go. Let's get back to camp. I'm starving. Really? I don't know, but I'm not scared of you here, Rio. Uh, aren't you? Yes, I'm tough. You're not scared of anything. Yeah. If anything tries to attack us, I'll soon see it off. <laughs> We've got to go back and get him. Nothing is dragging me back there. Hang on. This means we're heading back the right way. I left it in my tent. Something really freaky is going on in these woods. Ah! That's Cam! Oh! It's coming from that creepy place. Cam! Tracy, wait! What if it's a trap set by that spooky old woman? But Cam's in trouble! Oh! I just sprained my ankle. Oh, right. And where did you get to? You just disappeared. I thought something had happened to you. I found him. Me? I was fine. These two found it a bit freaky, though. Oh, I don't know about freaky. Wolfie, Lol and Bouncer seemed to be having a great time when I saw them earlier. Lol was mucking about with a blanket round him and Wolfie had your red jumper. Oh, kill him! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Which one's the best? They're both rubbish. We can do better than that. Let's show them. Yeah. Oh, really? We'll wait and see, shall we? Hey, where's Elaine? Left her in the field. She's got some new friends. <laughs> Not bad. For beginners. Cows! Big cows, big cows, big, big, big cows. I think you'd better sit down, Elaine. Come on, try my stool. 
Have my stool, that's it. Hello, what's happened here? Oh, I'm fine, it's just a sprain. Yeah? Stupid. Find it a bit scary in the woods, did you, Beaker? Be any freaks? Oh. You wait. I think she took it pretty well. For a girl. <laughs> Ooh, Tracy, we're really scared. <laughs> that the best you can do, Mika? What? So if that isn't you, or any of them, who is it? Give me down, my dreams will turn me.